In this video, I'll help you declutter and personalize your Windows 10 desktop. Let's get right into it. Personalizing your Windows 10 installation doesn't have to be complicated or daunting. The first thing we're going to do is change the background image to something that I like more. So you right click on your desktop and click on personalize and then you go to the background subsection and then you change this background drop down. You know, you can use a solid color if you want or you can also use a picture and then you can just browse on your hard drive using this browse button to any picture that you'd like. And now we're going to go look at the colors section and the colors section allows you to change the color of your start menu and of your taskbar at the bottom down here and your start menu here and uh, also the color of the tiles uh, that are here in your start menu. Um, so if you pick, let's say this uh, sort of a blue greenish color. Uh, and then I open the start menu, you can see how the tiles here changed this sort of greenish color. Uh, but I can also decide to change uh, whether I want things like the title bars to go that color. So this is the title bar, it's the, the little bar at the top of each of your windows. And also if you want that color to apply to the background color of your start bar and your task bar. So if you turn that on, you can see now that the task bar went that greenish color. And also my start menu went that greenish color and that it as that accented color that's that greenish color that I picked. Uh, now moving on from that, we want to talk about the theme of your Windows installation. Now the default you know, theme is just the Windows theme. Uh, and it comes with a couple of themes that, you know, have some images and whatnot and some slideshow images. Uh, but if you use this get more themes in the store, you can actually download some themes for your computer. And a lot of them are free and it comes with a background image or more than one and some color, uh, you know, it'll color your accent color and, you know, customize your sounds, maybe give you a different mouse cursor. So that's worth trying if you're interested in having a slightly more uh, colorful look to your desktop. But I'm trying to remove items from my desktop so that it's less cluttery and that there's, you know, less color and less uh, distractions, I guess. Uh, and then the next part is this recycle bin uh, icon on my desktop. I don't like having any icons on my desktop. So when you're in your theme section here in your personalization menu, you can go to desktop icon settings and you can remove all of this recycle bin and any other icons that may have been on your desktop. So then when here, when you click apply, you now have, you know, no icons on your desktop. So now let's take a look at the start menu. Um, you know, so in order to customize your me your start menu so that there's a lot less uh, interactive items and a lot less clutter, um, you go to your personalization section again by right clicking on your desktop and clicking on personalize and then you go to the start bar, uh, you know, this start subcategory and you basically take off all of these options. Show more tiles on start, show app list in the start menu. Uh, this one I want to keep on. This is actually the list of uh, the alphabetical list of applications, right? And then show recently added and show most used apps. If I turn those off, now you only have the list of the alphabetical applications. That's great. And then uh, occasionally show suggestions and start off. This is where it's going to suggest you some tiles, um, you know, maybe some a game that uh, they're trying to sell you or something, uh, such as, for example, this Minecraft or whatnot. Um, and then uh, uh, this one was already off by default. And then show recently opened items in the jump list on the start or the task bar. Uh, what this does is if you right click on some of these items, like for example, I have uh, Google Chrome installed. And if I right click on Google Chrome, it'll show me, uh, you know, my recently closed, most visited uh, items as part of this information. And that's where you're turning off that information so that when you right click on some of these uh, applications, you won't have this extra information. They're called jump lists. So you turn this off and then you do your start menu again. And then I'm going to right click on Google Chrome. And now it no longer shows that extra list of information. So uh, now here it says show which folders appear on start. So that's important. And when you go here and then you click on your start bar on this far left section where you've got your settings and this file explorer network and documents. So these links um, are links that you can turn on or off in this section here. So let's say I don't want to show my link to my documents there. I 
take this off and when I click on start bar the my documents link is now gone I just have my file explorer and my network link like I had up here file explorer and my settings and my network so now that we have our start menu a little more cleaner let's take a look at these tiles that are on the right hand side of the menu it's making your menu really large and there's a lot of extra information that you may not want or need Microsoft has named these life at a glance play and explore maybe you want to rename them something if you want if you just click where that title is you'll have the opportunity to change that uh, if you want to call it just you know misc and the one over here play for example and then if you want to if you click and drag the category you can actually move it beneath so that way you can and then you can take your mouse cursor and you can actually make your menu smaller so that way when you use your start menu it's going to be a lot smaller and you can scroll up and down if you want uh, from these tiles now there's a lot of these tiles and some of these we may not want to have there this first one here it says see all of your emails in one place if you're not if I'm not interested in that tile you can right click on the tile and then you can do unpin from start see how the tile is now gone great um, now another way uh, another type of uh, thing you can do with these tiles is let's say you want to actually have the Microsoft Store icon but you don't like the fact that it's sort of animating and showing you a bunch of different information in there and you'd rather just have uh, you know like a flat color tile that's a link to the Microsoft Store so you right click on the tile and you click on more and then you do turn live tile off so now you have just got you know the flat blue tile with the link to the Microsoft Store which is great and then you might want to grab this tile and then move it at the top here because we've created this empty space earlier um, maybe I don't want Skype to be in this tile thing on the right so I'm just going to unpin from the start and you know maybe I don't want uh, the link to my photos section to be here unpin and Microsoft Edge unpin and um, you know maybe I want to make this fit better so if you want to resize one of these tiles you can right click on them and do resize and then medium medium is the that default tile size and then I'm going to scroll my uh, weather one up here in the middle now it's starting to look a lot more cleaner so I'm not interested in Minecraft so I'm going to do unpin from start and also this Autodesk sketch and paint 3d and Xbox and I don't care for solitaire uh, but maybe I'll leave the music and the films and TV and these four icons from Microsoft Office because maybe I'm interested in using Microsoft Office um, so there you go now that looks a lot more cleaner and you can add icons uh, from your list of applications on the left so let's say I'm someone that uses Adobe Premiere Pro a lot and I'd rather have a tile here I can right click on this and do pin to start and it'll show up and uh, if you ever want to create a new group down here it actually added it to its own group where I can name it but if you want to create a new group you can actually drag a tile from up here and then drag it down here and this is going to actually create a new group that you can name uh, but I'm going to name this one work and then I've got this link to Premiere Pro and now let's take a look at the the task bar which is this bar down here at the bottom uh, if you like Cortana which is the search system that's built into Windows 10 you can leave that there or if you want to hide it or disable Cortana you can right click on this bar and then go to the Cortana section and then just do hidden and voila now Cortana has gone and hidden great uh, I don't use Cortana so for me to hide Cortana that's great now here's a, a shortcut to you know Microsoft Edge the browser I would rather use Google Chrome so how do we add stuff to this taskbar down here so I'm gonna go to my start menu and I'm gonna go find my Google Chrome and I can right click on it click on more and then pin to taskbar adds the icon down in my taskbar here and then I'm gonna drag it over here to be the first icon and then I'm going to right click on the edge icon and do unpin from taskbar so that it'll remove it and now I've got my Chrome icon available to me which is what I'm going to be using you know for the most part uh, in order to customize this taskbar you can right click on it and then, and then you do taskbar settings 
Uh, you could also reach it by right clicking on your desktop, clicking personalize, and then going to this taskbar section. Um, so, uh, you know, you can change things like, uh, you know, make the icons smaller down here, or you can, you know, leave them the normal size. Um, and you can change like the location of your taskbar. Uh, but the most important part is being able to customize, uh, the most important part is being able to customize the icons that are down here in your sys tray in the bottom right. Uh, you know, there's a lot of them as you start installing more applications, you may not really want all of them in there. So these in this notification area, there's a select which icons appear in the taskbar and turn system icons on or off. So let's look at the system icons. And these are the more generic ones like your clock. So maybe you've got an actual clock beneath your monitor and you don't want to look at the actual clock in the sys tray, you can take it out. You know, volume, network, some of the more generic ones. If you've got a laptop, you'd have your power indicator. Uh, you know, maybe you don't want action center or this little keyboard indicator or your location. Uh, but network volume and clock I'm going to leave. And then I'm now I'm going to go use the other option, which was select which icons appear on the taskbar. Now see, here's all of these other icons that are from your installed applications, and uh, you know I've got here this this one's now configured to show all of the icons, which is why there's so many in the sys tray. But if I turn this off, then now now I can you know pick and choose which ones are actually going to show up in the sys tray. Uh, so I don't really want a lot of these. Um, I'm going to leave my No Machine and my Chrome uh, and my Audio Manager and Adobe Creative Cloud. I'm going to turn off this. I'll leave uh, uh, Network and Volume and OneDrive. So there you go. Now there's you know, a lot less icons down here. Now I've got only a few icons showing in my sys tray, the most commonly used ones. And I've got only a few icons in my taskbar down here. And my start menu now looks pretty clean, pretty lean. There's very few items in there, just what I use the most. And, you know, easy to customize and add more to it based on what I use as opposed to the tiles that we were sort of force-fed by the default installation of Windows 10. Hey guys, Steph the Illuminated Nerd here. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for similar content. If you have an idea for a future Nerd Basics video, please leave a comment down below.